Morse code message hidden within a deck of cards. Who would have figured? I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries, and this is the Freefall Deck. Now this is a type of mystery box that you can use in an escape room, or perhaps for a magic trick, scavenger hunt, what have you, where your participants are given a deck of cards through some sort of clue. Now they've been instructed to keep the deck with them at all times, and to make sure that the dealer doesn't think they've been marking their cards, so they need to leave it sealed. A further clue will tell them that they need to toss the cards. Now, your astute puzzle solvers at some point will probably figure out that they need to literally throw the cards, either up in the air and catch them, drop them onto a soft surface, perhaps throw them from one participant to the other. And when they do this, the deck will go into a free fall, and an accelerometer running on the circuit playground inside will detect free fall and then give up the Morse code message by beeping. There are two key things when building the free fall deck. One, we want to get inside of the cellophane without it appearing like this has been tampered with. And two, we're going to build a circuit playground and battery based circuit as well as an insert so that it matches the weight and feels the same as a deck of cards inside. I recommend using a hobby knife and a very small flat piece of metal to help lift up the seam at the bottom. There is a small flap that can be lifted up and I like to start the cut with the knife and then to avoid cutting it further use the metal insert to carefully pry up the plastic. Now, the way these are usually sealed, you will need to cut the end that doesn't have that fold. Okay, and now we've got the cellophane out of the way, so what I'll do is repeat this procedure on the cardboard flap that seals the case. And we're in. Now you can remove the deck of cards and set them aside. We will actually use a few of these later to pad out the box so that our fit is exact. We're going to use this circuit playground to detect free fall and to play back the Morse code message. The circuit playground has an accelerometer built into it and with some software uploaded to the circuit playground, it can detect when free fall has been achieved. Now, we can do anything at this point, blink lights, run motors, whatever you have hooked up to it, but for our purposes, we're gonna use the small built-in speaker to beep out a Morse code message. Again, that's been uploaded to it in the Arduino IDE, and you can download all the code for this and then adjust the Morse code message as you like on the tutorial page that accompanies this build. I'm using a little 500 milliamp battery, a LiPo, and when I plug this in, it is now ready to detect free fall. The nice thing is this is fairly immune to casual inspection. If someone's checking it out, moving it, it's not so sensitive that it's going to start beeping until they've figured out that clue that they need to toss the card deck in the air it begins to go through the beep pattern of the Morse code message. Now you could absolutely get by with wrapping up the circuit inside of some paper and maybe putting in some coins or something to estimate the weight that you're gonna need and then put some cards on either side, slip it in and it'll work pretty well. One of the first things I tried was taking a little piece of wood to the bandsaw and cutting out a circle to fit the circuit playground and then fitting this and the battery along with a few other scraps of wood inside the box. And this works pretty well, but the weight was a little bit off and the feel wasn't quite right. So what I did was used some calipers to measure the cards that we're gonna be replacing inside of the case. And then I also used a very small digital scale to find out the exact weight. Then I designed a template inside of a CAD drawing program to laser cut some acrylic that 
gave me almost an exact match on the weight and size. Here's how I assembled the final layers of acrylic. I have a base, then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my circuit playground and battery, and I can fit that into these little cutouts. And then I have another to place on top that leaves room for still plugging in the USB in case you need to change the software on it at some point. And then my next piece has a cutout for the speaker to help the sound get out. We didn't want to muffle it too much here. And finally, I can cap it all off. Now, this comes to within about 8 to 10 card widths of the exact size. So I went ahead and grabbed a few cards and placed them on the top and the bottom until I had an exact measurement. Okay, there we are. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this up and reverse the procedure. So we're going to place a little bead of glue across the cardboard flap that was previously glued down. And what you'll want to do is set this up maybe a few hours before your event or the illusion is needed. The battery lasts a good day or so plugged in, so you shouldn't have to worry about it too much, but you also don't want it dying on you before the moment is needed. Let that dry for a moment and cool off. And then you can either use some hot glue, but you want a very, very thin piece of it. Some blobs might give you away on the cellophane. Or you may want to try out some super glue or another thin glue. And there we have the free fall deck. It is now ready to be deployed along with your clues so that the participants will go ahead and throw this in the air and then be amazed by the Morse code message coming from within. On page X. Interesting. I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries, and this is the Freefall Deck.